The number one recruit in the 2018 recruiting class has now officially entered the transfer portal and things are about to get insane. So if you subscribe and turn on our notifications on this channel, you'll enter for a chance to win a pair of Apple AirPod Maxes. Now that we get all that out of the way, Mike check one two one two. What's going on, everybody? Guys, let me know in the comment section down below. This is like our second college football news video that we've made in like my entire career. If you would like us to cover the NCAA on this channel, drop a comment down below that says Mike cover the NCAA. Because personally, this is just a story that I was very interested in. Because you guys know, a couple weeks ago we made a video on Spencer Rattler. It's a really interesting story, and I guess this is kind of the epilogue to the entire story. So about a week ago we made a video on the head coach of the Oklahoma Sooners, Lincoln Riley, accepting the job from the USC Trojans. And to be honest, a lot of people like poking fun at Lincoln Riley for leaving the Oklahoma Sooners right as they're about to enter the SEC and going to a much lesser conference in the Pac-12. And to be honest, man, I really can't stand people that say that even though he went to USC and that is like my alma mater's arch rival. If anyone offered me this type of contract, where I got paid $110 million. He had both of his homes in Norman purchased for $500,000 over asking price. Him being purchased a $6 million home in Los Angeles and unlimited use of a private jet 24 seven for his family, which I, I don't know, this, is, this isn't this is confirmed. This is just rumored. But if anyone offered me that type of deal to come in and try to restore their program into its former glory, dude, I would happily accept. Personally, I think it'd be really cool if the USC Trojans were able to get back to where they once were. But here's where it gets a little interesting. If you remember in the documentary style video that we made on Spencer Rattler, one of the biggest parts about that video was the fact that after having a rough start to his season this year, in his second year playing underneath Lincoln Riley, he was inevitably benched for Caleb Williams. Now, you guys have to understand, based off of Spencer Rattler's previous decisions, it's really easy to see what his goal was when he went to Oklahoma to begin with. I mean, Lincoln Riley was credited for being able to take Baker Mayfield, a Texas Tech transfer, and putting him in a situation where he won a Heisman Trophy. He was able to replicate that success with Kyler Murray the year after, and to be honest, a lot of people look at Jalen Hurts as a great quarterback in his final year in Oklahoma, but you have to understand that when he was in Alabama, he was primarily a run first quarterback, and Lincoln Riley was able to help him get into a situation that enticed the Philadelphia Eagles to completely destroy their entire organization so they could draft him with a second round pick. What, you think Carson Wentz was okay with the fact that Jalen Hurts was selected with a second round pick? But it brings us to where we currently are. Spencer Rattler looked at the situation in Norman and said, hey, you know what? This is a great opportunity for me to go and play for a head coach that would make me look good and inevitably get me in a situation where hopefully I could be selected with the number one overall pick in the NFL draft, which is clearly his goal here. If he wanted to compete for a championship, he would have went to Alabama. But ultimately, things didn't work out well for him. He got benched this past year, and now he announced on his Instagram a couple days ago that he was leaving the Oklahoma Sooners. So it looks like Caleb Williams is going to be the future QB for the Oklahoma Sooners for the foreseeable future. Rattler posted this onto his Instagram saying, Sooner Nation, thank you for allowing me to be a student athlete at this prestigious institution. Thank you to every teammate and coach these last three seasons. We won several games together and made memories that I will cherish forever. Special thanks to my family and friends for your support. Thank God for the game of football. It's the ultimate team sport and brings people and communities together unlike anything else. At this time, I would like to announce that I have decided to enter the transfer portal to continue my academic and athletic career. Thank you again Oklahoma I will miss you so this is kind of like a no shit type of situation we all knew that Spencer Rattler was going to enter the transfer portal but the question is what team is he eyeing next in order to make that jump to a NFL caliber QB of course this past year definitely hurt his draft stock and it's really a shame because this year's NFL draft is very thin at the QB position aside from Malik Willis and Matt Corral there isn't really any quarterback prospect that pops into my mind so this was a really 
remarkable opportunity for Spencer Rattler to potentially establish his NFL career. But there's this one rumor by this one particular insider that just makes things very interesting. Now, the source for this information comes from an individual by the name of Josh Newberg, and this is a crystal ball prediction. Now, typically whenever I see the word prediction, I say, oh, it's a prediction. He's just guessing that he's going to this specific place. But whenever a crystal ball prediction is made, it typically implies that this insider has a source that is close to the individual that the information is about. So more or less, these are correct more often than not. This is kind of the equivalent to Ian Rappaport or Adam Schefter saying a specific player is expected to sign with a specific team. It hasn't officially happened yet, but it's expected to happen. Where he predicts that Spencer Rattler will transfer to UCLA. I, of course, my alma mater is UCLA, so let's dive into this. First of all, we don't know what Dorian Thompson Robinson is thinking about in terms of his future. Again, it is a very weak quarterback class in the NFL draft this year. So, of course, if he was to enter the NFL draft this year, then his chances of getting selected by a team that's desperate for a quarterback, be that the Pittsburgh Steelers, be that the Houston Texans, in the later rounds of the NFL draft, are significantly higher. And whenever there's weak QB classes, that's what I typically hope that teams end up doing because you have just as high of a chance of hitting on your QB pick if you draft later in the NFL draft than if you were to do it earlier. A good example that pops into my mind is Dak Prescott, who was selected after Jared Goff, Carson Wentz, Jacoby Brissett, Braxton Miller, which I guess we could consider Braxton Miller a QB, I don't really know, and right before Cardale Jones. Another example is Derek Carr or Jimmy Garoppolo who were selected after Blake Bortles and Johnny Manziel, or even in 2012, one of the most hyped up QB classes that featured Andrew Luck and Robert Griffin III, but the only player that remains still playing to this day is Russell Wilson who was selected in the third round. So there is an argument for Dorian Thompson Robinson in leaving the UCLA Bruins and entering the NFL draft. And if that were to happen, then it makes a lot of sense for Spencer Rattler to transfer to UCLA. But even further incentive for him to transfer to UCLA is he'll get the opportunity to play against his former head coach, Lincoln Riley, who benched him in one of the most exciting rivalries in all of college football, in the Battle of the Liberty Bell. Of course, UCLA versus USC has been very one-sided over the duration of my existence, but this definitely adds some fuel to the fire. Other teams that I could see Spencer Rattler potentially going to include Ole Miss. Lane Kiffin did a wonderful job with Matt Corral and I can imagine Spencer Rattler really developing at Ole Miss. You could say USC just so he could reunite with his old head coach but I doubt he wants to reunite with a head coach that ended up benching him in the middle of the season. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Where do you think Spencer Rattler is the most likely to transfer to? Do you buy this UCLA transfer rumor? Where do you think it's BS? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.